Hello everyone, I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this video, I'm going to discuss about question answers related to LWC. So first question is, what is LWC? So LWC stands for Lightning Web Component. LWC is an implementation of the W3C's Web Component Standards. So W3C basically stands for World Wide Web Consortium. It supports the part of the web components that works in browser and adds parts supported by Salesforce as well. Quick component development because developer has to use only HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So these three files we need to manage while implementing LWC. Next is Lightning Web Component Files. So if you, if you are implementing any lightning web components so what files uh, should be there so uh, we will be having html file javascript css and one more file that will be dot xml file in this file we need to write the components configuration like where you want to use your component and other uh, supported supported stuff so here test is the name of the component and uh, uh, Further, it is having extensions. What is LWC module? LWC uses modules to bundle core functionality and make it accessible to the JavaScript in your components file. The core module for Lightning Web Component is LWC. Begin the module with the import statement and specify the functionality of the module that your component uses. So for example, when we implement any lightning web component, so we write import, then in curly basis, we write lightning element from LWC. So here LWC is the module and lightning element is the functionality that we are going to import. What is the use of XML file? So this file defines components configuration, like where developer can use the lightning web component. So in this file, by default, this is exposed option is false. But if you want to use your component outside, like in your org, or somewhere like home page, record page, app page, or screen flow. So in that case, you need to change that false to true. So is exposed should be true. And then uh, you need to define the targets. So uh, here, two targets for demo purpose available, like home page, record page. So it means uh, if you write these two statements, so your lightning web component can be placed on home page or record page. Can aura component contain lightning web component? So answer will be yes. Can lightning web component contain aura component? Answer will be no. Can a lightning web component call another lightning web component? So answer will be yes. We can have parent child relationship while implementing lightning web component. What is the difference between camel case and kebab case? So LWC match web standards wherever possible. The HTML standard requires that custom element names contain a hyphen. Since all LWC have a namespace that's separated from the folder name by a hyphen, Component names meet the HTML standard. For example, the markup for the Lightning Web component with the folder name widget in the default namespace C is C hyphen widget. So this way we uh, we write a markup in the Lightning Web component. So this is basically kebab case uh, notation. So however, the Salesforce platform doesn't allow hyphen in the component folder or file names. So when you create any Lightning Web component, so and the name of that component should not be having any hyphen. So it, it always follows the camel case. So what if a component's name has more than one word like my component? So you can't name the folder and file my hyphen component. So it is wrong, but we do have a handy solution. So use camel case to name your component like my component. So here first word is small and second word first letter is capital. If we have one more word, so its first letter will be capital. So camel case component folder names map to kebab case in markup. In markup, 
to reference a component with a folder name my component use c then hyphen my hyphen component so this is the difference between kebab case and camel case notation what is decorator decorators are often used in javascript to modify the behavior of a property or function so we can use three decorators at the rate api at the rate track at the rate wire so at the rate track uh, basically in initial days of lightning web component used for uh, declaring any property as private but right now if you don't use at the rate at the rate track then also uh, you can declare a property whereas at the rate api is for public property and at the rate wire we used to uh, call some uh, functionality that is predefined or uh, if you want to call any apex class method so you can use so now let's understand them in detail. So what is the use of at the rate API decorator? So it marks a field or property as public. HTML markup can access the components public property. All public properties are reactive. So reactive means the framework observe the property for change. When property changes value, then the framework reacts and renders the component. What is the use of at the rate track decorator? So it observes changes to the properties of an object or to the elements of an array. Framework render the component when changes occurs. What is the use of at the rate wire decorator? So it provides a way to get and bind data from a Salesforce org. Now, how to implement conditional rendering in HTML uh, if you are uh, implementing Lightning Web component? So you need to write template, then if colon true, equals to and then this is a property which will be declared in javascript file and if it is true then this true block will be uh, evaluated and rendered on the ui the next template is having if false and same property or details visible so if it is false then only it will be rendered so anyhow if we are using the prop same property for true and false, so either it will be true or false. So accordingly, the result will be rendered on the UI. How to render list in HTML? So uh, you need to use four colon each. And uh, this context is a property. So this is a list which will be having more than one context. Then one by one uh, context will be available in this context variable. So four item is for that. Then we have list item, which will be displaying contact name and contact title. And here for list item, we need to define the key. So here ID, we are defining as the key. How to write expression in component? So here you can see we have both HTML and JavaScript file. So in HTML, we have this item name as a property, which is enclosed in curly base. So you just need to write the property name and it should be enclosed in the curly basis. And uh, you need to declare the properties in the JavaScript. So if we compare this with Aura, so in Lightning Aura, we declare uh, attributes in HTML and then uh, we set the values in the JavaScript and then we render them with the help of uh, uh, components markup, right? So, but here uh, property, Property means uh, attribute or variable. So this property we declare in the JavaScript and we can use it in HTML. And at the rate API is denoting like this uh, item name is a public property. It can be uh, accessed outside the LWC. How to call controller function in component. So here you can see in HTML, suppose lightning input markup is used. So here type is checkbox, label is show details, and we have an event that is on change. So on change is calling handle change. So this way we call the uh, functions that is defined in JavaScript. So uh, below you can see JavaScript code, which is having handle change function defined. And uh, inside that block, you can write the code. What is the use of at the rate aura enabled, which is having cacheable equals to true in parenthesis. So aura enabled annotation exposes the method to lightning components and caches the returned list to the, sorry, on the client. What is lifecycle hooks? So lightning web components provides methods that allow you to hook your code 
up to critical events in a component's life cycle. So these events include when a component is. So basically, uh, constructor will work when a component is created. Connected callback will execute whenever your component is added to the DOM. DOM means document object model. Then when your component rendered in the browser, so rendered callback will be executed. If there are any errors, so error callback. If you remove your uh, component from the DOM, so disconnected callback will be executed. What is lifecycle flow? So uh, first of all, so here uh, we have two things like parent and child component. So if you have parent-child relationship, so first parent constructor will be called, then public property value of parent updated, then parent inserted into the DOM, then connected callback called on parent, then parent rendered, then constructor called on child, proper, public property value of child updated, then child inserted into the DOM, then connected callback called on child, child rendered, then rendered callback called on child, and then rendered callback called on parent. So this is the life cycle flow that you need to remember if it is asked in the interview. Next question is, what are three ways to work with Salesforce data? So we have uh, three different ways. So first is we can use Lightning, base Lightning components built on Lightning data service. So these are Lightning record form, Lightning record view form, Lightning record edit form. Next, we have used Lightning data service, wire adapters and functions. So here we use Lightning slash, then UI, then asterisk will be replaced with particular functionality. So maybe like lightning uh, slash UI record API like that. So uh, this module we need to import and then uh, we can we can use this predefined module and its functionality. And if it is not working and you want to use Apex, so that is also possible to interact with your Salesforce data. Now, what is Lightning Data Service? So Lightning Data Service manages data for changes to a record are reflected in all the technologies built on it. Whereas data from Apex is not managed, you must refresh the data. So when you use Lightning Data Service, so you don't need to write any Apex code. But if you want to customize the predefined implementation, then anyhow, you need to write Apex code. So Lightning Data Service does a lot of work to make code perform well. So it loads record data progressively, caches results on the client, invalidates cache entries when dependent Salesforce data and metadata changes, optimizes server calls by bulkifying the deduping requests. Now, base component comparison. So we have Lightning Record Form, Lightning Record View Form, Lightning Record Edit Form. So features like create record, so we can do with lightning record form and lightning record edit form. We cannot do it through lightning record view form. Then edit, same. Then view record, we can do with lightning record form and lightning record view form. Uh, this cannot be achieved through lightning record edit form. Then read only mode is also available with first two. Layout type is available with only lightning record form. Multi column layout is available with all of three. Custom layout for field is available for record view form and record edit form. Custom rendering of record data is also available with record view form and record edit form. What is wire service? So the wire service provisions an immutable stream of data to the component. Each value in the stream is a newer version of the value that precedes it. Objects passed to the component are read only. To mutate the data, a component should make a shallow copy of the objects if it wants to mute it. Now, wire service syntax. So this is very simple. You need to import uh, adapter ID from adapter module. Then you need to write uh, at the rate wire. Then uh, you need to pass adapter ID and the adapter configuration. Then you need to use either property or function. So. Everything is written over here. So what is adapter ID? Uh, it is an identifier. Uh, so the identifier of the wire adapter. 
then adapter module. So the identifier of the module that contains the wire adapter function in the format namespace or uh, module name. So this adapter module can be a Apex function or it can be a, a predefined module. So anything you can uh, use here. Then uh, what is adapter config? So it is an object. So a configuration object specific to the wire adapter. Configuration object property value can be either string or references to object and fields imported from at the rate salesforce slash schema. Then lastly, we have property or function. So a private property or function that receives a stream of data from the wire service. So the whenever wire service executes, so the returned information or data will be available in this property or function. If a property is decorated with at the rate wire, the results are returned to the properties data property or error property. If a function is decorated with at the rate wire, the results are returned in an object with a data property and an error property. Why to import references to Salesforce objects and fields? So when you use a wire adapter in a lightning slash UI stress KPI module, we strongly recommend importing references to object and fields. So Salesforce verifies that the objects and fields exist, prevents objects and fields from being deleted and cascades any renamed objects and fields into your components source code. It also ensures that dependent objects and fields are included in chain set and packages. If a component isn't aware of which object it's using, use string instead of imported references. Use get object info to return the object's fields. All wire adapters in the Lightning UI stress KPI module respect object CRUD rules, field level security and sharing. If a user doesn't have access to a field, it isn't included in the response. Now, how to import references to Salesforce object and fields? Those are available here. So you need to write import, then position object. This is identifier, then from, then at the rate, Salesforce slash schema slash position underscore underscore C. So this way, this custom object is imported, then account is standard, then custom object and custom field, then standard object, standard field, then relationship field, then uh, like through relationship field also, you can uh, import particular field. How to get current record ID in Lightning Web Component? So you need to create a property named as record ID and decorate it with at the rate API decorator. So if you decorate it with at the rate API decorator, so that property will become public and public properties can interact outside Lightning Web Component. How can we deploy Lightning Web Component? So we can do it through chain set, and migration tools, gear set, Copado, or other migration tools. Communicate with events in LWC. So Lightning Web Components dispatch standard DOM events. So components can also create and dispatch custom events. You can use events to communicate up the component containment hierarchy. Create and dispatch events in a component's JavaScript file. To create an event, use the custom event constructor. To dispatch an event, call the event target dot dispatch event method. To listen an event, use components HTML template. To handle events, define methods in the component's JavaScript class. Right. So if you want to use events in LWC, so these things you need to remember. What is the use of Lightning message service? So to communicate between components within a single Lightning page or across multiple pages, use Lightning message service to communicate over a Lightning message channel. The advantage over PubSub module is that message channels aren't restricted to a single page. Any component in a Lightning experience application that listens for events on a message channel updates when it receives a message. It works between Lightning Web Components, Aura Components, and VF Pages in any tab or in any pop-up window in Lightning Experience. Use of PubSub module. 
So in containers that doesn't support lightning message serving, use the PubSub module. In a published subscribe pattern, one component publishes an event, other components subscribe to receive and handle the event. Every component that subscribes to the event receives the event. The PubSub module restricts events to a single page. Where we can use Lightning Web Components, so we can distribute components on App Exchange. We can use components on Lightning App Builder, Flows, Experience Builder, Utility Bar, create components for Outlook and Gmail integrations, Quick Actions, Standalone Aura Apps, Visual Force Pages, Custom Tabs. So these were some question and answers related to LWC. There can be more questions. If I found some more questions, I will be creating one more video for the remaining questions. Thank you.